Greetings, you beautiful, most attractive, very handsome people, whatever you are. I eat a lot of watercress. I put it in my protein shake in the morning. It does not taste good. I find lots of snails in it. Apparently in California, when you get watercress during a certain season, you find snails. And I always gave them the fighting chance at life. I would put them on a little piece of leaf. So that fateful day, I found one snail and I named it Patrice. They are hermaphroditic, so Patrice laid tons of eggs all over the little inhabitants that I made. Unfortunately, after two weeks, passed on to another existence, but left behind an entire family for me to take care of. I think there's like 26 of them now. Snails have no self-restraint when it comes to mating. <laughs> when they start, it never finishes. My snails, all they do is eat, sleep, procreate. I have a new hobby that is finding snail eggs. This is every day. I find snail eggs in their little habitat. These snails, amber snails, they prefer musty, wet, damp environments. <laughs> I get rid of probably 300 a day. If I were to let these eggs come to be, it would be rampant. I would have so many snails. <laughs> it would be impossible to deal with. I would have to have a house. I would have so many snails, I would need a house. So, because I'm only dealing with my 200 square foot apartment, I have one terrarium and I try to be the best birth control I possibly can for them. This is their very dirty enclosure right now. I, <laughs> I've had a hard time cleaning it because accidentally I allowed some maybe 12 <laughs> new snails to find their way into existence. Yes, I have birthed like 12 new snails as of lately. These sneaky little demons they hide their eggs under dirt and whatnot. These sneaky little demons put their eggs under the dirt. So I have to really passionately try to find them. I cannot clean the terrarium because they are microscopic and any time I move something around, I look around it and I find these little clear or translucent bulbs that are baby snails. I'm just waiting for them to become of age that I can see them so I will not annihilate them while I'm trying to clean their cage. My new favorite pastime is putting new or just fresh food into their cage and watching them swarm it. It's funny, they don't really have eyes that work. Almost instantly when I put something in the cage, they're on it. I just watch them move their little heads, scraping on the food. <laughs> Snails are very interesting, I'll give you that. They have a lot of personality for something that's so small and they kind of are spoiled, honestly. Little monsters. I will open their terrarium, I leave it topless, and because of that, they can move around the premise as they please, and I have to keep an eye on them, or sometimes they've escaped and I didn't notice, and I just have to follow the little slime trail to wherever they are. <laughs> and rescue them. It's not that serious, but 
It's very comical. Because one time, one got out, and I had no idea it was out of the cage. I took, like, a full nap, and everything. I had lived a whole day, (laughs) and then later saw a few markings on my bed. Luckily, because, like, if you move your hand on the snail stuff, it just goes away. It does not feel wet. It doesn't feel like anything on the bed. That's why I continue to do it. It doesn't, like, leave goopy stuff. I noticed on the side of my bed that there was a few little, like, snail trails. And I found this poor little snail on my tarot cards. This is, like, my new look. (laughs) I decided the other day how much I really like this, like, ear thing, and I think that these are nice accents. Given the opportunity to wear them out in public, I certainly will. I'm not sure how much else I would do to change this. I just want it to match my babies a little bit. Let's see. I'll probably find more things for them to crawl on because they be moving. They love to do stuff. And yeah, they seem very happy. They're very active. I don't have one snail that just sits all day doing nothing. They all congregate. They all lay tons of eggs. So snails go through a lot of floor play. (laughs) Like a crazy amount of floor play. They'll just slime all over each other. I catch them like hanging off of each other all day, every day. And this for snails is seemingly erotic because they do it for mating and they'll just climb on each other and it's a battle to do this. They have this little connection thing. See who can put this like dart in the other one and that's a feeding tube for hormones apparently the battle is to not be the female (laughs) they come together and it's consensual of course (laughs) but at the end there is a male and a female to what started with two hermaphroditic beings no one wants to be the female because the female has to carry and birth the eggs I get it Do I look like a snail? Hope you guys are having an amazing day. You gotta know I love ya. And take care of each other and especially yourselves.